Hello, I am Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. And this is uh, going to be a rather short video by comparison to some of my other ones. I'm here to let you know that I've just launched my next webinar and it has a lot of really good information. If you've never tried my webinars before, uh, this is the one to try. This actually is really chock full of information. I want to give you a brief outline of what I talk about in my webinar. And for a lot of you, it's going to be really useful information. We're going through a lot of changes. This year is going to be significant changes for a lot of people. Uh, but a lot of these changes are going to be healthy. Everything's moving in the correct direction. And one of the very, very important things for people to learn how to do is how do you hold your love bubble? How do you hold that elevated state of being in a world where there's things that still keep happening? Where there's responsibilities such as children or family or sick parents or job or a report. It could be anything. Now, this is one of the challenges, and particularly, I would say this. A lot of people have wished for things. Well, it's taking moving heaven and earth to get those wishes into place. This is the year for it. People have wished for health. People have wished for abundance. All of you have wished to be in love. It's the state of being in love that brings about the health, that brings about the abundance, that brings the people, places, and things, situations that you want to you. There is a reason we're doing this here. Um, this planet has been the place where there's been a lot of really extreme damage. It has amounted to soul damage, not the only place that people's souls have been damaged. But this is uh, where we're saying everything stops here. And so this, uh, the things moving forward, this is actually a very physical ascension. This may be very different for a lot of you than some of you might recall from other places, other timelines, even your own process of death. Um, some of you have died a thousand deaths or even recalled dying while you've been healing things or parts of you have been dying. Now, this is uh, very physical because things are brand new. Your light body is brand new and that's what I'm going to talk to you about. So the topic of this webinar and today is uh, March 29th, 2015. So it's still in March but going into April and we've just passed over the equinox. We've also come in, we've come past the point of equal light and equal dark. We are equalizing masculine and feminine energies. We're equalizing the hemispheres of the planet. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, significance to the time that we're heading into, especially for a lot of people who've wanted to be with their twin flame or are currently with your twin flame. So the topic is the new angelic light body in transit. So a lot of you are aware that you have a light body within or you're just becoming aware that there's another part of you. It's on the inside. You can feel things. You can sense things. I've been having a lot of people communicate with me that are very newly awakened or recently have found out the name of it. And while, you know, whether you call it soul or whether you call it ascension symptoms or whether you call it a spiritual awakening or uh, for a lot of you, it will be your twin flame. And th this webinar is very specifically also, uh, and pay attention here, those people who are Blu-ray twin flames, those people who are from the red ray and the people who identify as being from the new earth, what uh I've been calling the golden ray of the golden sun twin flames. So the new angelic light body in transit because it's connected to you. So it is bringing the soul into body, the spirit into matter. And this is a challenge for a lot of people, especially in a dense environment like this where things still happen. You can't always be your magical self that you may remember that you are from another planet. 
For some of you, you're simply struggling with things like energies, jolts, uh, things that are pushing you, things you need to release that are really painful. That's also what this is for. It is to assist you, not just comfort you, not just give you information. I've got tools in here that are actually for you to apply, and only you can do it. Only you can do the things. I can't go to your house and do it for you. I, I'm showing you through this in your house some of what you can do to assist yourself. And, and it is a gradual process. Please remember that, that this is a process. It is an ascension process. In a lot of ways, it's very similar to a baby. When that baby is, uh, their nerves are just growing and you have to, you know, get the baby certain things, put cream on its skin, make sure that they get some stimulation. And that baby, uh, by comparison to people with their light body, that baby actually has a crash course in getting itself integrated here into a physical life. And of course, there's a spirit in the baby's body. So they have about a three to four year period. Many of you have had a lengthier time for uh, releasing and integrating, and you and I, I cover some of that in, in this webinar as well. So I'm going to talk to you about being new versus being primeval or even primitive because you're no longer here to have to survive or become cavemen or cave women. And being new is uh, increasingly going to be easier for you to do. Effortless is what we're going for and natural. This is getting you back to your natural state of being and being in love and being loved back, being loved back by everything, everything in the universe, which does include your twin flame. You are going back up the way you downgraded. I talk about that. We are talking about coming out of the etheric and into the physical. I talk about that. I talk about the new angelic that you already are right now in this current timeline versus the angelic you have been in uh, past timelines. I talk about some of that. Also, for a lot of people, and this has been a concern for a lot of people, your glandular systems are a bit erratic sometimes. And it can, it's usually right now, it's the organs along the solar plexus. So, for example, uh, this, is, this is a tube. How do you open the channel that goes from one end to the other? How do you do that? I talk about that in my webinars. I actually demonstrate some prime breathing positions for you to enable you to do it for yourself. Okay? I talk about the metabolic adjustments that you may be currently experiencing or going through. And the reason that I have this is to take a lot of the fear and the guesswork out of it for people. Okay, this is not a replacement for getting a medical or a physical exam. And I do encourage people, please get something. Get your baseline examinations. Get your mammograms. Get your uh, prostate, your colon uh, taken care of. Get your um, all of your reproductive parts checked out. Make sure because there will be a lot of changes uh, coming up that are going to uh, enable you to elevate and some of your uh, body systems, they're going to be feeling this ascension. They're already feeling it. A lot of you, you can predict the weather by the way your body feels. You can predict some bad weather is coming if your knees hurt. And it, it's no different, but you're having heightened senses come online. That, so that's valid and then some. So uh, the other positions that I have, I have a position to help you clear your love bubble. This is something you can do on a daily basis. I talk about the internal heart communication because communicating with your twin flame or your divine counterpart from your third eye, that's, that is departing. That is departing and I talk about that in there. I also talk about the magnetic clearing of your cosmic body, and this is really important for Blu-ray Twin Flames. 
This is for Blu-rays especially. Why? Because many of you are in the time right now where your cosmic body, that's, that is reconnecting. It is reconnecting and it's probably giving you some trouble or some pain or some intensity. You're perceiving and feeling things that other people just aren't. Do not let people tell you you're crazy about it. You are aware and you do know and there's a reason for it. And I also talk about some support for your physical body. So uh, please consider getting my webinar. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's uh, intended to be very helpful. It is for people who are, yes, physically with their twin flame. It is mostly for people that are not physically with their twin flame. And your twin flame could have died. Your twin flame could have uh, left for some reason. Your twin flame could be in another country. Your twin flame could be where you're sensing them in the etheric and you're waiting to meet them in the physical. This is for heterosexual people, gay, lesbian, and transgendered. It's really for everyone. Anyone who is having some ascension symptoms, but it is most specifically for twin flames. And this one does have information pertinent for Blu-ray twin flames, especially now. Uh, many of you have a light body. Many people who were born here, and this is not everyone, because this is going in waves, in, in sort of like stages for people. Um, but waves and, and some people, you know, they may not know what to do. Give it a try. It's very reasonably priced. And I think you'll enjoy it. I have um, five other positions that are here to support you for your endocrine and metabolic, for your love bubble, uh, for your internal heart communication. And this has been important because a lot of people are reporting back and they're saying, Patricia, my twin blocked me, my twin took me off or went off Facebook, my twin doesn't respond when I try to reach out. And again, I always do encourage people, use your voice, it carries the vibration of your soul. Face-to-face -face and communication is important. However, what are you left with if you have no other recourse? It's the same thing that you would have in any other dimensional level. It's your heart. It's your heart. Learn how to clear out the world, clear out the problems, get yourself to a still space, and get good at that heart communication. This will serve you well. And I still have to find out if it's, you know, for people that aren't physically with your twin, that is a challenge. However, being physically with your twin is a challenge. And it's a personal and private decision that's made at the soul level for those people. There is no right or wrong for it. There's not uh, people that, you know, because they're doing something wrong, their twin isn't there. Now, a lot of you do have some twin flames that are still engaging in some old stuff. And you're really wondering here, when are they going to let go of it? When are they going to give it up? When are they, you know, I've tried this, I've tried that. Please know that as we uh, turn this corner for the equinox, this is actually the where the soul is taking over and propelling things. You do your part. That's what you do. You don't give up because if this is something you wished for, it's, it's going to come to you. Okay? It still requires you getting your uh, light body ready. You have to get good at it. And getting good at something only benefits you. You're the only beneficiary of the investment that you put in yourself. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. Um, there's a lot more coming. We're heading into the next part of this eclipse for this um, tetrad of different, you know, it's the solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. I'm going to have another video. But the very specific things that I talk about in this webinar, um, I encourage you, try it out. See if you uh, like the information and see if it's helpful for you. Thank you so much. If you need more specific information that is more personalized 
about your union. I do do uh, readings. I do sessions. I do a consultation. And I am available. I uh, try to accommodate people's schedules in different time zones. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And thank you to everyone who has bought my webinar. I really do appreciate uh, that you've bought it and the feedback that you've given me, which helps me improve going further. Remember, this does carry a code of light and love that there's more at work here than meets the eye. It's not just words. We're not, if we were doing this with words, we'd be here for a long time. So please allow yourself to let your soul help you, you know, the parts of you that you're anchoring inside. Be aware that um, this is for your higher and better good. And it's for you to feel better. Okay, take care. Bye now.